Hi, this is Bhaskar here, and today we are going to talk about NC.IO wireless temperature and humidity sensor. So let's see what we have over here. So on my left side, I have a wireless temperature and humidity sensor. On my right side, I have a USB modem. This is a very common pair generally users get. This will let you see the data on a computer really easily and quickly. So let's talk about sensor first. What is so special about this sensor? There are so many wireless temperature and humidity sensors in the market. So why would you choose a sensor like this one? So here are the few pointers. This sensor uses a Honeywell temperature and humidity sensor, which is one of the best sensors available in the market. Then the wireless range, which is very important. This sensor can send data up to two miles line of sight, and it can also send to 28 miles if you're using a high gain antenna. Using these small antennas, it can send data up to Two miles. This can all the uh, other thing users ask how, how well it will work in an industrial environment when it's installed in a factory because there are so many other machines are running in the factory as well as there are other things which are sending data and there are so many walls, concrete walls, and all other things. So, how well it works in those cases. So the good news is this sensor can send data through walls and it works really amazing in the concrete floor or, or concrete walls or steel walls and all those through things. And then this sensor is battery powered. Using just two AA batteries, you can get five to, up to five year more life. It's, the battery life depends on how quickly you are sending data. If you're sending data too quickly, the battery will drain quicker. If you're sending data after like 20, 30 minutes or hour, you can get up to 10 years battery life. It depends on how frequently you are sending the data. Now, we'll go into software side and we'll see how easy it is used to this sensor. So let's go to with the computer and download the software. So to download the software, go to ncd.io. Over here, go to resources page. On the product page, you can find all the details about this product. So we'll go to resources and we'll download the software. I already have all the software on my computer, so I'll just open the software which I already have and we'll see how it works. So right now, it's sending data. Um, it's from the old testing, so this sensor can be powered using external power supply as well as the batteries. By default, the sensor comes with external power supply enabled so that it will not transmit data while it's in transportation. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the antenna. Once you connect the antenna, you can plug the power, you can enable the power supply. So in our first testing, we'll be using external power supply. So let me open the UI. So you can see when we connect the power supply, the data will come up on the computer screen. As you can see now, the humidity, temperature, and all those readings are there. On the UI, it also shows what is the sensor is sending. So this is the raw data which is sensor sending. This data can be directly pushed to cloud services like AWS, Azure, Lucent, or any other cloud services. You can parse data on your own software and you can build your own software. There is no monthly fee, so once you buy the hardware, it's yours and you can do whatever you want to do with this thing. Now, in the second test, what we'll do is we will open the box and enable the battery uh, power supply. So to do that, you will see there is a jumper. It's named as PS. By default, the jumper is installed on the left side. This means it is powered, enabled by external power supply. What we'll do now, we'll install the jumper on the right side. That will do is it will enable the battery power supply. As soon as enable the jumper, you will see the data will show up on the computer screen. There we are. The humidity and temperature changing uh, based upon what we are doing in the area. And you can change the data frequency and all other settings. To do that, we'll need to go to configure mode. As you can see on the sensor, there are two buttons, reset and configure. Reset button is used to reset the sensor and configure is to use to put the sensor in configure mode. To learn more about configurations and all the settings, we'll, make it. we'll go to the new video and the next video and we'll learn more about there. If you have any questions about this sensor, feel free to reach out to us on our website, nc.io. 
and you can contact us directly and you can post your questions on our community forum. Thank you.